Hello everyone, I'm Amy over here at the Rosedown Plantation in St. Francisville, Louisiana. And once upon a time, this plantation totaled almost 3,500 acres. And I have to share this drive up to the home with you all because the view is just stunning. So first, I am going to start off here at the gift shop to purchase tickets for the house and grounds tour for $12 a ticket. And they have this nice gift shop. Here's some pralines and some handmade soaps. And this beautiful Christmas ornament for $20 of the Rosedown house. And this pottery here is made by a local potter. These are some really nice pieces. Here's some monk soap for $10 each. They have all kinds of scents. And it looks like a lot of these items are either made in Louisiana or are representative of Louisiana's culture. And these are really beautiful. These necklaces for $45. All right, so here is the main house that was completed in 1835 for about $13,000. Here inside the home, I was just a few minutes late to the tour and I didn't want to disturb the other guests, so I wasn't able to film the entire time. So I'll be going back and forth with some photos too. So here you can see this beautiful painted flooring. And here you can see this amazing mahogany staircase that was built by slaves. And if I remember correctly, she said this light fixture is also original to the home and they didn't have very many of these because they were too difficult to light. And this is a photo of the beautiful wall in the entry. Now here is the dining room and the china is not original to the home, but the silverware is. And you can see the salad fork is closer to the plate because the salad was served at the end of the meal instead of the beginning. So this staircase is located in the butler's pantry and was used by the slaves as they were not allowed to use the staircase in the front entry. All right, this is the guest room with 1835-1845 original furniture from Philadelphia. And for show, the guest room has a built-in shower and there was a ladder in the shower and the slaves would have to climb the ladder with buckets of water to put into the holding tank and the guests would stand in a large wooden tub and pull a rope connected to the water tank and the water would come out for them to shower. Now here is a bedroom in the house and this cradle is the oldest piece in the house. And all the furniture in this room is also original to the house. And I'm not sure if these pieces are original to the house, but I thought they were really nice period pieces to look at. And I thought this dress was really interesting, but it did not belong to any of the family members. This is the nursery with original furniture, and currently there are a lot of photos of the family in this room. Most of the toys in this room are also original to the home. The rocking horse here, I believe the guide said, is over 160 years old. All the children of the home played with it, and it's still in great condition, and it was made with real horse hair. And here is Daniel and Martha's room who had this home constructed. The furniture is original and from New Orleans. And this photo is of William and Sarah who are Daniel and Martha's eldest children. 
and in 1849 Sarah was voted the belle of the country. And here you can see the garden view from the balcony and it is just stunning. So you get a good view of the gardens out here. These are all original gardens. You got a total of 28 acres, about 80% of the original plants. So this is what you would see. Everything just kind of grew bigger over the years. This room here is the ladies' parlor, and after dinner, the ladies would gossip and drink tea in this room. And the furniture is original, and the carpets are also original and were purchased in Belgium in 1835. But for the family, the most prized possession is going to be this tapestry in front of the fireplace. It was a gift. It was given to the family by their son William's wife. So her name was Caroline, and that was made by Caroline's great-great-grandmother, Martha Washington. Oh. oh, wow. So the family, they built the frame and they put wheels on it so that way they can move it around and show it off because they wanted to tell everybody that George Washington's wife made this. Crazy. So and here is the gentleman's room and this room is where the men would go after dinner to talk. Now here is the library and it was also used as an office. It had its own separate door to the outside so that people could come in and out more easily. This room features three walnut bookcases that were purchased in 1841 from France. Now there were other rooms and a lot more information about the home and family that I did not get to include in this video, so if you ever have the chance to visit the Rose Down Plantation, definitely do. So the first thing I see after exiting the house is this cute cat, and I'm not sure if she lives at the plantation or not. So this building here is the milk shed where milk, eggs, and other perishable foods were kept. They would put ice in the dugout floor to keep things cool. Now we're entering the kitchen, which is detached from the home, and it was actually built before the home. And this was probably the kitchen side, and the other side, the laundry room. I did read, though, that the fireplace and chimney is original, but this building had to be rebuilt because it was moved. So this building is Dr. John King's office, and when one of the children of the home died from yellow fever, Daniel decided to have a doctor available at the plantation at all times, and had this office built for the doctor. Alright, so the Rosedown Plantation has 28 acres available to walk around on, so I'm going to spend some time walking around and seeing all the beautiful views.
I hope you all enjoyed this tour of the Rose Down Plantation in Louisiana. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching.